after open the wooden case, first step of what we need to do is install the parts for the labeling uh, holder. First, firstly, we need to take out these three screws. Then the, this part has been finished installed. Then we need to install this small bar for the for the black well because when we pack here, it will be easily broken. So we take it off. Then we need to install this one here. After install the parts and the, the black well. Then we can find the spare parts box where there was uh, spare parts and the spare screws inside of the box and uh, the power cable. What we need to do is plug in here. And the connection to the electricity. Then we will turn on. Then the touch screen will be sure like this. Then we are going to install the label. So firstly, you should remove the top cover to take out this. Then take your label. And cover it and then lock it. Then it's move like this, press this, and then make sure later use this to press and hold it like this. Okay, press this bar to here. And go here. And a very important is uh, label sensor here. Needed to cross the label sensor. And go here. And go here. And cross this. And cross this, and cross this, and cross this, and go here. Then move the up and the down position.
make sure it, uh, the level is same from here to there. After install the label road, then lock it, make it tight, and uh, check again here the label cross uh, label sensor. Then this one needed to be press it tight to hold it so the label will not move easily. After that, then move the small black parts to guide the label road so the label will not move up and down easily. And also the downside. Like this, label road installation is finished. After open all the case and installed, we should uh, do damage inspection before using. We should uh, look around the machine and check if there was any damages. If there was any damage or broken, please call us. Thank you. After installation, the parts, the label holder, the black well and install the labeling road then let me introduce the uh, machine from the this side to that side so here you can see this is a uh, uh, conveyor belt to transfer the bottle from this side to that side and uh, the bottle guide wheel and to make sure the bottle can go strict strictly and not not move forward and backward and here is a bottle device system to separate uh, uh, the bottles one if the bottle come together and so it will be hold and rotate slowly so that the bottle will be separated here and uh, this side is a label, a bottle sensor um, this this part is uh, sensitivity adjustment part to adjust the sensitivity of this sensor and here is a labeling sending system, uh, label holder, and uh, this part is to adjust the heightness of the whole labeling system. This is a locker when the label is moving, and uh, this is a peeling board when the label across here, it will peel out uh, labels. And this is a bottle sensor, when it sends a bottle, and when bottle come, it will send a signal to the machine to send out a label. And here you can adjust the position of the sensor. You can install here, install downside, depend on the bottle heightness. And here is a two road to control the heightness of this board when the um, bottle is uh, higher diameter, bigger or small, you can need uh, uh, you need to adjust uh, by this two black well. And this belt is to rotate one. After the bottle got a label, it needed to go through here, be pressed so that the label will stick well. And uh, downside is a control panel. You can set data and see the status. And this is a power light to show uh, the machine is on and auto button to uh, start, start the, the machine ready for use like this.
an emergency stop button to emergency stop. And here downside, there was a bigger motto for the uh, main conveyor. And this is a spare parts box. And uh, then let me introduce at the side and the middle. Now let me introduce at the left side of the machine. As here you can see for plug and this speed controller uh, to adjust the speed and open and all close. This is a part of this photo separating system to control this, rotate fast or slow to set, so that you control the separating distance between two photos. And here, and this one, to adjust the whole labeling system, left and right, forward and backward. And this too is to adjust the whole balance to keep the uh, label sending at the good level. And on the right side of the machine, you can see here is a power switch to turn on and turn off the machine, the main power. And here is a speed controller. Speed controller also have its uh, uh, turn on or turn off switch. And here is to adjust the speed of the main motor of the main conveyor. And at this side, this two black well to adjust this board forward or backward, up and down balance. Now we are going to introduce the control panel. Firstly, when we uh, turn on the machine and you will see the power light will be on. And this one is a auto start button. After we press this, the machine will be ready for labeling. This is an alarm. Uh, when the machine gets some error or problem, it will alarm and the show error on the screen. First, uh, let me go inside and we can see from the here, the exit, just go back to the first page. And the delay out of the, this means uh, after this sensor, sensor bottle, after how many seconds later it send out a label. Out of the delay, this means the label stop position. Uh, the label after sending out one label, it will stop. So what's the stop position you can set on this data? Labeling speed means the labeling sending out speed. You can control the speed by setting here. Here uh, as uh, main conveyor speed, you can change the speed. Now it's uh, 30, let's see the speed, 30. Now let me change it to 50. So this will be faster. 20. 20 slow. Then output setting means uh, you want to set uh, out, outputting. You, for example, you want to try to label 100 bottles. You can set 100. After the machine working for 100 bottles, the machine will stop. So usually what we need to set is a bigger number will be okay if you don't need to calculate. And uh, this means uh, how many photo you have already labeled. And here, press clean, you can make it uh, back to zero. Uh, the standard test means uh, try to send out a label manually to test. As you can see now, you can send out a label. And it will send out the label. Send out the label. Uh, buy down and buy off. This is uh, for the machine with printer model. If uh, without the print model, no need. Just uh, buy off will be okay. If the model you have is with a uh, Date printer, 
if you want to use it, you need to make a tie down. Uh, stop to stop the whole system and uh, stop working. Brown the button, same function as this one. You can also like this, also like this. Parameter setting system, we can go inside to set. Code delay also for the model with the printer for uh, to control the code printing position. And out of the protection means uh, uh, if the machine labeling system got a problem, it will setting out uh, uh, one, one standard lens and the machine will stop and alarm. This is for uh, protect the wasting, avoid the wasting labels. So you can set, for example, if you send uh, set uh, at uh, uh, 30,000, 30,000, uh, for example, 50,000. Fifty thousand, and if your labeling speed is three thousand, that means after five seconds later, the labeling system will stop and alarm. Say there we get an error, so we stop it. So this is for avoid wasting more labels. Code on and the code off is for the the model with the printer. You can uh, let the printer working or not. So this is a control panel. Oh, last button, reset. If the machine got an error, for example, we stop it and let it working. So it will allow and show an error. What you need to do is to reset it and it will stop allow. Now let me show how the this and this working. Now it's zero. Let's see. Make sure the emergency stop button is out. Then we start. For example, a bottle car. And how long it will send out a label? Let's see. It will send out immediately. For example, if we set at five seconds. So after this sensor sensor bottle, this will delay five seconds, then send out a label. One, two, three, four, five, then send out a label. So this one means uh, the time difference between sensor label and sending out a label. Sensor bottle and sending out a label. Now let's return it back to zero. Out of delay to set the label stop position. Now let's see. Now the label stop at a uh, uh, not good position. Let me change it to 1.0. Let's see how to press send out a label test. You can see the label stop position is changed like this. So like this is much better. For example, let's set it to 0.2. Then we can see how it, where it will stop. As you can see now, stop like this. Not good, it's too much out. So what we need to set is 1.0.08. Like this is a faster position, it's stop.
Now we are going to teach you how to adjust the label sensor. As you can see the label sensor here, after you change the new label, what you need to do is to reset this label sensor. What you need to do is firstly to press these two button plus and the minus button together. It will be flashed like this. Then what you need to do is move the label forward and backward like this. Let it feel the uh, Let it feel the label. After move forward and backward, then press the minus button. Then let's check. When the sensor find uh, when the sensor feel the gap, it will be light off. When there is a label, it will be light on. Like this means success. Let's do it again. Press these two buttons together. Sorry. Press together and it will be flash. Then move, 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 move. Then press minus. Then you can see when it sends the gap. It will be off. Since uh, label, it will be on. Success. Now let me introduce uh, label sense uh, bottle sensor sensitivity adjustment part. When you open the cover, you will see there was a light here and uh, two screw. And when the bottle sensor sends the bottle. This red light will be on. If we no, not sense a bottle, it will be off. So what we need to adjust is like this. Put your bottle here and move from here. And then when the bottle arrive to the front of the sensor, you need to use a small screw to adjust this. This. Now it is on. So what we need to do when the bottle is there, you need to adjust it on. When the bottle is not there, it should be off. It is just like this. This screw is to adjust roughly and this one to adjust precisely. After all the installation and introduce the machine, let me uh, try to introduce how to use it. Firstly, for example, this is your bottle. First step, what you need to do is to adjust as a guide rail. So uh, from the any machine comes from maybe bottle uh, accumulation table or filling machine or capping machine to connect it to here, then the bottle will come through. So you need to set the guide rail to connect to that part. Then when it moves, make sure this part is uh, just uh, pressed it so it will be separate. Let's see. Make sure the bottle car and uh, to adjust the position to make sure it will hold in the stop for a while so that the two bottles will be separate. Like this, it will be separate. If the guide rail is too open, so when the two bottles come, they will do nothing. So make sure there's more. And also you can adjust the black wall speed so you can control the separating uh, distance difference. Faster, it will be closer. Slower, it will be separated more bigger distance.
more slower like this then what, what we need to adjust is uh, the board distance we need to adjust the depend on the here to rotate here make sure it will be pressed not too tight just uh, a little bit pressed like this and also you can adjust the upside down depending on your bottle also can adjust this part up and down depending on the bottle upper forward and backward then also here to adjust uh, if you have any other machine to connect also adjust here to guide it where to go then also you can adjust the sensor if uh, the bottle is uh, short you can adjust it like this much down up down like this and also you can adjust this one forward or backward like this depend on your bottle 